So good morning guys and we're welcome to March and our first trip this month is we're going to Toledo. We're currently in Naga City, Cebu and we're gonna go to this to the city of Toledo so via Naga City. So this is you know the road going to Toledo. This is the Naga Toledo Road um, which is also the some of the, I mean the, the preferred road of many people going to Toledo because it's not too steep. Uh, some people, you know, like the Transcentral Highway and uh, going to, in the Lahug and uh, via Balamban, but you know, you'll be passing uh, through mountains and it's, um, you know, it's, it's an uphill climb and. I guess a lot of bikers would love <laughs> to go <laughs> there, but you know, sometimes vans, especially vans, would um, a lot of people riding would probably prefer this route uh, via Naga. And as you can see, this is Naga City, um, and yeah, this is the road. I mean, I mean, Kuala, um, we're like back to normal. They were also affected by Odette. But now they, you know, you can see the trees are green once again, and it's not, um, it doesn't look as devastated as, as before. I, you, I was able to come here like one month after that, and I could see the damage, the poles, um, the electric posts uh, that are on the, you know, side road. So. Here this time, yeah, you can see that it's it looks better. It looks like the the you know pre or that, <coughs> and you know, and traffic here is not too bad. It's really light. Um, although there are some vehicles, there are slow vehicles uh, passing this road or trucks, but no, but still you can see the na pa mga repairs. Oh, na pa people repairing. Uh, posts, lamp, uh, electric posts, but, uh, you know, there's still coconuts that are so, you know, cut down, bare, but, yeah, more, um, there are some vehicles here na medyo slow, but all in all, traffic, or I mean, the travel is quite um, fast, and uh, I think from Cebu to Danao, uh, Cebu City via SRP to Danao, it will just take around two hours or less. So not bad, um, but you'll be, you know, passing these hilly portions, but basically the it's not too difficult, a difficult drive. Mm -hmm. So on this drive, yes, we are going to Toledo. I think we will end this trip. Um, in Lotopan area, uh, just right before we reach Don Andres Soriano School. Um, you can see that Naga and um, Toledo are also mining towns. Um, um, I think before it's you know Atlas Copper, I mean Carmen Copper. Um, that's in Toledo. Then Naga their own. I think limestone as well and. Um, so, yes, the, and a few years ago, there was a big landslide there in Naga. Um, but yeah, they're past it. Um, so there are a lot of mines in the area. And it's the, it's the, it's what, you know, made um, these, I guess, uh, these towns to be cities. So, so. Well, that's one of their sources of income. Um, but Naga is also just close to Cebu now and Cebu City. So there's residential projects there as well. Well, Toledo is a gateway to Negros. So there's a port, the port there in um, Toledo could bring you to San Carlos City. Um, so it's an important vital port that will bring goods from Negros to Cebu. And actually, we're on our way to Toledo to check out City Core Solar Farm, where there's a big, the biggest, the currently the biggest solar farm 
in the country is in Toledo City, Cebu. Uh, so that solar farm is, you know, uh, is in a lot that's 73 hectares. Um, when they put up around 193,440 solar panels that produces 48 could produce 48 megawatt hours a uh, megawatts a day so it's like it can power more than 20,000 houses 48 megawatts it's clean energy it's the biggest right now I think but next week it will not be the biggest anymore because there was in there's something in Pampanga that City Corps is also building but currently yes this solar pa plant in um, Toledo has been producing energy now for years. Clean energy, huh? So unlike coal, um, you know, what she one, what she like, fumes, what she residue. Plus, for maintenance purposes, a solar plant is uh, requires less people because um, it has less moving parts. So mostly, mga electric electrical uh, electronics engineers ang naadiha although it will take up bigger land pero mana it's just the sun um, ang, ang source mana yung nakanindot ana na we actually have a clean energy project here in Cebu that's been working that's been providing us with clean energy which is good because wala well, gina um, we're always um, there are people who are Worried about uh, environmental changes, the climate change, and shifting to cleaner energy like solar is actually a must. So most likely, in the near future, we would see more people investing in solar, solar plants, uh, so solar rooftops and the rooftops. So, you know, buildings. So because we want you know to save energy also the nice thing about so if you have solar already it's basically your energy would be free na di nakabayad ng kuryente di ba buwan buwan although it will also need some um, kind of investment also mas mahal ang gamay pero in the end lagi now you won't be too dependent anymore with with uh with veco or with uh your local power distribution uh, which is nice. I mean, uh, during Odette, I mean, a lot of people were buying, you know, solar lights, solar lamps. Although some were overpriced, but in the end, it helped. It helped people you know, light up, light up the night, light up the Christmas uh, with the help of those solar um, lamps. So, money um, here in um, Naga, money in Toledo. Power is really important, and I think it's just been restored already in this area. And what I'm going to is hopefully, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, you will see in my future videos also how this solar uh, impressive good guy, how this solar um, um, plant uh, looks like. Um, wow, I didn't know that Cebu has like that. And mana, we're hoping also na oh na pa hiwi na cute lagi kita hiwi it looks like an elephant. Pero mana ang kwa nato is hopefully we could also kwan um, the next set of leaders also will will have a plan on energy and utilities and water because in the future that's gonna be the issue, di ba? Na there's climate change, there's population increase, which would increase the need for you know energy um, water yeah, plus with us using a lot of cell phones how how can we provide power to the people especially na pagiha po yung mga lugar sa Pilipinas na not electrified that hopefully man, ma, na, na, even or national the ones running for national position should also consider it an issue plus kind environmental aspect as well because we just had Odette 
we just had go on mana mga rising sea, sea levels would be an issue kana na tay mga droughts el nino and la nina diba we have to go on also i hope that the leaders will have you know their opinions on it their plans mao na gamit usay sa debate diba na sometimes it's a chance for them to lay out their plans and to to inform the people mao na ilang balak mao na ang ilang opinion on that on that particular issue para makuha na to na ma ma maandam na to atong kaugalingon once a certain candidate wins we know what would happen diba or at least we can lobby as early na please reconsider your position on this certain issue diba so anang hopefully na we would have you know kalang mga debates na platform na atanan na diba kay listen kay nang mo ba di mo to nga o diba na marabag you wouldn't tell they wouldn't tell their plans marabag vague lang yun ka ayo they just you know they just wanna win and one more now if they win mo nang makatawasan ko kay Yeah, if you're an avid supporter, rabid kind of supporter, would you just want someone na walay plano? Walay giingon? Diba? Walay, wala pa yung maruganan sa mga issues? I mean, what's... Um, why? Mara ba kung nai nanguyab ni mo or nai nakikuha ni, you don't know that person. You have to know that person, diba? To know, I mean, do you want to be surprised lang? Diba mo nang kuan lang na ako na hopefully sa na especially Mr. Marcos is the leading candidate right now based on service is also at least ba na kuan lang na join the discussion join na kuan um diba para di isad ma surprise na lima Filipino na kuan at least the last our past president which is going I mean 2016 na to na elections si Duterte it was The, the debates were helping him. It was his time to shine. Um, he clearly had different, you know, he had a platform that was clear, that was, that was uh, specifically targeting his uh, drugs, diba mga kuan, mauna ila, crimes, drugs, uh, peace and order, gandang iyang, ang iyang issue, iyang kuan, ang iyang platform. And I want na marapag, we would know what people are representing, what they want to offer, what are their, what they are fighting for. Di ba na kung kung may lahat unity, unity, then you're not united with others in in presenting platforms. So marapag, di ba listen sa so hopefully, wala na tong hope na ano bang we can be able to weigh properly who would who should we vote by you know. By listening to their ideas, and I know the I know the Marcos um, campaign, the Marcos camp, even uh, Senator uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. have good ideas. Na dapat lang hayo ba nato? I think they have. You know, nasa na sila mga plano, di ba? Na once they sit down, what they plan to do to make this country better, di ba? So. Uh, we wanna know, malay mo nindot ni di ba? So para kuan ba? Para patas na ma makita sa tanan na kinsa gipi na kanindot o plano, kinsa na capability to execute his plans or her plans uh, once na budaog. Because a lot of people also are good planners, but but they would lack the action <laughs> and and they don't not want and it's not just politicians there are a lot of people who are like that right? even you know personally kita said we had those moments in our lives that we we probably were promised or we bite more than we can chew <laughs> so ba lang na ko ano lang ginay mo nang important ni kina to iway ang track record and the capability and Compare it to their promise, para you know if it's feasible or doable, ba, de ba? So many now we get run to Naga and the mountain areas of Naga going to to 
Toledo City so kuan man uh, kan misan din nagpuyo diri di ayo uh, ay mga kuan pa man ay mga kahoy ka po ng mga bao but yeah you can see there are so many houses in this area not sobra ka populated but you can see naman na gagmayar distansya na nay balay di ba <laughs> And I think uh, na it's good na na sa mga kuryente na nagbuhi naman sa mga tao dire dapita. And a lot of people are working in the mining sector sa diha sa kwan dire mga kane in the in these areas. So mga roads, the roads are <laughs> yeah, road conditions were were good. Makai mga way mga potholes, mga kwan, mga masay takit ng mga landslide sa dalan. Mga na na mga kahoy na inga na mga o na pa yung mga nagbisikleta di ay pero you can see na it's not too um, steep so marunag patag siya ba although we've been passing through mountains pero may pagkakuhaan siya na dili kayo siya itong ngason it's, it's an easy drive this is your access towards mana, Toledo City um, to the west um, Toledo, mga pinamungahan o oh, pwede sa mo dire in the end pwede kay alugin san but some people kung alugin san na di pass through uh, eh di pass by a car car pero man eh mga man eh kanina area mana Toledo pinamungahan <coughs> nagam sa mangulig Toledo or even the ones na gina mangulig Negros mga ana so kuan kayo um, they can pass uh, um, through here So I kwa na before I was going to Bacolod. I well, I was coming from Bacolod day then going home we we passed by by uh, uh, Negros so Car San Carlos so then Toledo na mina na end up yan nasa una ng tuy mga Bihar na mag this brings you to SM so or South Bus Terminal day so Kuan ra kayo, um, cool ra kayong biyahe, kuan ra ba? Pas pas ra, you'll reach the city in no time. Yeah. Yeah, comfortable ra kayo, van ra sa, then, um, yun to, kuan siya, fast crap. So, kuan kayo. Nga man, hopefully, when once, mani na kanindot di sa Cebu, na once the tourism opens, we're really a good, we're a good landing spot for tourists because of the available, you know, Uh, sea routes, airplane routes, um, from from our airports and from our you know seaports. There sa main port nato, for example, you can go to Mindanao, to mga mga Asin, mga Bohol. So more bago ah, mana wala. Maybe maybe this summer ato na explore ng sea travel, di ba? Na we could check out different islands, <laughs> riding a boat. Uh, sa una mao ginawang sakyan before it's boat no karon fast craft boats pero mao na ba na but airfare has been uh, you know in the past few years the affordable king airfare that it was like killing killing the the, the ferry the the sea ferry na kuan uh, industry uh, sa una ko suki na mga sweet lines mga trans asia mga mga wgna mga mga negros navigation pero lahi na ngarom panahon na because katong Cebu Pacific ng kuat kayo um, competitive ka ilang price and you arrive in your destination for example Manila one hour kumpara sa let's say one day around 22 hours tigali na gikan Cebu to Manila kung barko uh, it makes a lot of difference di ba plus the comfort uh, sa airplano Marbag, aircon, kuan. Although, kung daghan yung kahit kag bagahe, let's say, kuan ka na kay negosyo na mamalit kag mga butang, let's say, sa Divisoria na mamakiyaw kag kikilo, kinilugid kay ng mga sinina, mga man, hapit na ito nila, dahil mo kuan nun. Ah, lahi lang yung barko, di ba? Makadag yung kag daghan ka yung uh, bagahe. Uh, kas kuan in fact mao na nay na kuan na kuan sa barko na even if na patay ilang passenger side ang ilang cargo side buhi gihapon kayo do na gihapon mga air cargo pero lahi gihapon na gihapon kuan sa mga barko mga paagi gud sa barko oh, 
by a container, by a what. So, naagin na. <laughs> it's quad. Pero mali na. Hopefully, we can kwan, re- all options mahal sa gandong airplano. Mahal kay gasolina. Or, so, maybe, well, you know, let's be open to more options. Especially this summer, I think we can travel uh, around once again. Um, diba? I hope you made your summer plans na. Because... I think this summer we can we can go. Hopefully, I can show you to different places. Also, there is a atua and para masuro na to la. What the hell? We don't know. Marabag. I haven't really explored kaniyang mga west to kaniyang sa Toledo on sa mga nindot na lugar dary na suruyan. No, oh, di ba na bali mga mo na bali mga waterfalls dary na pita kaniyana para mga or even the natural attractions. Or, bisag ka mga man-made. I think nahin rag maze dari sa, sa Toledo. I've seen it before. Uh, marag atos, marag usa ka kapilya. And they have like this maze. Uh, amazing maze. <laughs> so, manang, manang, yeah, I'm so happy to th- these opportunities. Manang maka suroy-suroy dari mga lapita to see what's, what's, What's there? I'm even surprised. I've heard about this solar plant, but never seen this. But I'm gonna show you in my next videos. Na unsay how unsay itsura na unsay dagway ana. To think it's one of the yeah, it's really the biggest right now in the country, diba? Imagine ka ana. So it must be kwan. Must be big. <laughs> must be kwan. Kaling um. It must be a sight to see, so di ba? So mo nang kuha na to na nindot yun kayo unta na makibaw ta ng mga butanga ba? Especially those things. Because in the future, mo na may norm. Or in the future, mo na ikuan. Mo na saliga na to ng mga solar farms. So, well, dagan pa taghawan rin na pita. Kung dagan rin track, gano rin mga haki. So mo na ikuan na to doon na ta sa lutupan. We're like with that, no, two minutes away. Um, but all in all, the nawa tumbi ay ko ano kayo nindot sa kaisin na mga mga hills, you can see hills. Uh, nasa na area na kita kini mga mina, but it's all green. Sa kita mo green kayo ko ano. It's nice to see ba? Mga labung na kayo, buhi kay mga tanom. Um, yada yon. Di kay traffic, pero di kay tungason. So probably if I'm gonna go back to Ledo na sa pohon. Ah, oh, kanig ya po na daan na mong atong akong pinion ay medyo ko ano siya. Eh, easy to drive. Ko ano nang madili, dili gud kayo challenging. Oh. Although naman yung ban dito mo agi sa talisay kanang manipis, pero challenging kun ro sa ayo kun mga ting mag-uwan. Although mali summer na baya ron, but it has been raining sa the past couple of days. So mura ba ko an kayo? <laughs> It's good na sige pag uwan but I think matod pas mag-asa uh, these rains would ko ana um hi, uh, hinay-hinay na ni kawala uh, for the entry of summer. To think we're already in March. So mo na ko ana andam na mo dapat, andam na mo sa summer. Plano na mo asa mo ato mag beach ba mo, manuroy mo. Are you ready to to go out, to go out and explore, go out to crowd places? Diba? It's gonna be the question, diba? And, but I think, for example, NCR is alert level 1. Wala wa, na, kwan, gawas-gawas na mga tao eh. Balik na mga bus. So, even the tourist or, kwan, in, ang lisod lang ron is naaling kaling Russia, Ukraine issue that could affect ng mga tourist arrivals. Kaya, of course, mga Europeans, mga hard looks na so pala na magira pa lang na pero hopefully ka na ma-sort out sa na nila eh. na grabe sa nang kuan kaning na grabe naman ang kalibutan hard look ta na murag gira-gira na sad ba na after i think people i guess were itching mas tipi mga sundao ti man na bore na na uh, they haven't seen any action for the past uh, two years so probably mo na appeal na nas kuan <laughs> Epekto, but hopefully we will, it will be resolved soon uh, because it's affecting us as well. Ganabang, especially mga oil prices, not only sa peace side, ganabang hard look tanasay, but 
also oil prices which will lead to you know inflation sa so food prices yung kanang mga gas o oh, mahal ba ng gas mo bihebiyahe ta kung mahal na sad so so si si lang tag mahal ba last Tuesday ni mahal na o gahapon ay ganin this is a Tuesday ni mahal mo mahal pag yung samot pero ko ano ta hopefully ko ano ba na will stabilize na sad oil let's recover it has been uh two tough years for for the world di ba while we manage to survive hopefully we'll not create more trouble anymore for for each other we'll just have to start you know recovering making the children go to school again making businesses flourish once again di ba and have one Let's have um, a wonderful summer ahead, and let's just pray that things will stabilize soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Sa next atong suroi. Bye, bye, bye.